Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Like if Brent didn't, hadn't given me the, the advice to turn off YouTube when we do this, it, it would be worse for me. Oof. Okay, and welcome back to the latest anime news <laughs> for the week ending June 19th, 2021. Let's dig into it, shall we? This let's week... Shout. Yes, let's shout. Indeed. Indeed. Um, this week, Sunrise revealed the next project in the Gundam Breaker series titled Gundam Breaker Battlelog to launch this summer. Um, it'll include new original mecha designs and has plans for, of course, an anime game and Gunpla merchandise. The anime portion will be a six-episode short anime series streaming this fall on the Gundam YouTube channel in Japan and then Gundam.info outside of Japan. Uh, the Gunpla line, the <gasps> HG Gundam Breaker Battlelog series, will allow fans to customize their own Gunpla model with different head, body, arm, and leg parts. This is the unique feature of the Gundam Breaker video game series where players can create their own personalized mobile suits with parts from various real-life model kits and use them in battles between the game. Some of this is already doable in some model kits, but not consistently. Uh, the staff also plans to sell limited edition Gunpla kits in the United States. Oh. It was also announced at the first Gundam conference this week that another life-size Gundam statue project is also in the works, with more details to be released this fall. So, um, here's my question about, it's not about the, 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 the Gundam anime, because that's going to be a Gundam anime, and they're going to do the, the model kits and so forth. Right. Where is the fourth Gundam statue going to be? Shanghai. Baltimore. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Steve. <laughs> I can wish. I can yeah. Wish. All of a sudden, all the shipping it's, labels it's, it's, magically it's, change in Baltimore. It's, Steve's house. It, it's oh. my little Buddha in the corner. Come on. There don't. we are. It's, it's your I'll hope. Name, I'll name, yeah. <laughs> the guy from uh, from Akira. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they pray for the wind. The wind called Akira. Uh. uh Jeez, I don't know. I mean, where else yeah. would you put it? Yeah, I mean, we have two in Japan, one in, J in China. Seoul? South Korea makes sense. Oh, jeez, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Putting one in Seoul would be not a bad location. Mm -hmm. the Philippines if you really want to pick people, I'll put it right in the DMZ. <laughs> <laughs> Pointing. Right yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> That would elicit a response from North Korea that <laughs> nobody really super wants. So that would be a no. <laughs> Look, I told you for years they were working on giant robots. Attack! <laughs> Send wave after wave of human human bodies at it. <laughs> Defeated. Um, yeah. Geez, yeah. I um, wonder if they will. If I wonder if the international market will ever get so hot that there will be well, a Gundam. In the Western Hemisphere. That's that, that's uh, that's. USA, I'll be honest. Somewhere. That's my question. Like New York City, right? You know, you know, geez, um, or L.A. Because or LA, keep, yeah, keep I it should, Pacific. That, that, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, that, oh. that is definitely a concern. <laughs> you know, that's or how about Hawaii? Hawaii? Oh, good call, Hawaii. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I know that's a popular tourist destination, but mm -hmm. yeah. you know, you've you've had you have so much population available in LA itself mm -hmm. yeah, yeah for a tourist attraction kind of thing yeah that's yeah, yeah. true I mean, that's true and I'm I'm sh you know I'm sure Honolulu would be very excited to like throw money at that but I bet mm -hmm. you LA could throw a <laughs> lot of money at yeah. that mm -hmm. yeah you know? um, so if you look at the defray expenses of putting up the gantry and the whole mm -hmm. thing if it's gonna move I, I don't no, yeah I sent mm -hmm. you true, a link true. to it Brent that I yeah. don't know whether it moves or not or whether it's just stationary right who knows if it's gonna move they're gonna need a lot of money again mm -hmm. so. yeah that's the other interesting question about this is because it does kind of make sense you know, they, they built the first one and it's like well you go through all the trouble and expense of not only building it but figuring out how to build it yeah th then you know you built you do more because you kind of you know that <laughs> that work has been mostly done um, and then you do the moving one because that's the most awesome thing in the world um, and then it's like, okay, let's, let's franchise it. Basically, let's just keep on producing these things. Um, and do you make one, cause, cause now you have that split, right? Do you make the really expensive moving one or do you do another stationary one? 
Yeah. Um, especially if it's going to be, you know, in Buenos Aires maybe or something. Well, let's um, just say for emerging markets, stationary makes good sense. Mm -hmm. But for a, a stable and maturing market, mm -hmm. it makes much more sense to get the locals to pay the expense of a moving Gundam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. If they were to put it in America, you wouldn't think that they would put it at Disney, would you? Talking about money. Oh, wow. That would because be that one would... hell of a, of a contract deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, mean, I, don't think Di I don't think Disney would say no. I mean, look what they right. acquired. But right. yeah. I think it would become one of those things where it's like Star Wars worked well when they were working with Lucas. And you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Pixar mm -hmm. was working well when it was Pixar. And then they bought it. Mm -hmm. Can you see Disney doing something that's not going to have that long-term goal? Be like, yes, you can build that robot mm -hmm. here. And uh, let's ta start talking about how much you want for your company. You know I'd be like, <clears throat> I'm not sure they'd be willing to go there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. So, hmm. hmm. I like that idea, though. What they could do, they could set up a Gundam park in Florida. Yes, they could. So Universal, mm -hmm. Disney World, all that. Yeah. And then put yeah. that down there. Well, as I say, all around there with all those parts, you have like Praise Land. You had, mm -hmm. you had, I think it went out of business, but I think you had a place called, it was called Wonderful China okay. or Splend yeah. Splendid China. Mm hmm. And it was all miniature models of like the great uh, sites and attractions of China. Cool. So cool. you had the Forbidden Palace, you had the Great Wall, you had all this other stuff that was in there, mm -hmm. and it, that went out. But it was land. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's gone, right. but that land is not occupied by yeah. necessarily anything. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, as you were describing that, I was thinking, hmm, golf, football, golf, golf, great wall, China, great, great wall, China. You know, just like. <laughs> hit a golf ball at the great wall <laughs> that's awesome well and anyone who's been to florida and like driven to disney world you know you drive through 80 Everything. miles and nothing to yeah. get there um the i-4 day. corridor yep, yep. Oh, jacksonville to uh to to orlando mm -hmm. and then yeah. once you hit orlando it's it's like <laughs> hi reptile land china land <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. praise land <laughs> Sewer land. World's second largest ball of twine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's the um the uh, medieval knights? Oh yeah. Uh, medieval yeah. times. Yeah. 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 Medieval, medieval times. times. There you go. Mm -hmm. Got yep. so, I, I I know things. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> um and some of the worst motels to get murdered in. <laughs> and some of the best motels to get murdered right. in. Let's not be like exactly. shaking the stick at one group of right. people here. Totally. <laughs> um so yeah, that's pretty exciting. We'll we'll see where that goes. Also some exciting news this week. Um, another anime collaboration project has been announced from Netflix, this time partnering with well-known manga creator group Clamp hmm. of Cardcaptor Sakura and gosh, so many other things. Um, the new original series will be animated by Wit Studio and based on Grimm's fairy tales. Michiko Yokote of Bleach Gintama and Triple X Holic, which is also a Clamp series, will serve as scriptwriter for the currently untitled project, which plans to bring a modern twist to the classic fairy tales and incorporate elements of the horror and suspense genres. That's kind of what so, excites me. So is it is the, the original, the original story? story, story right, exactly. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I was gonna say. Are we going cute or are we going? Oh God, people are being eaten. <laughs> Yeah, this this sounds like original Grimm's fairy tales. Yeah, I was gonna say not the Disneyfied version where it's mm -hmm. like, oh, Snow White, that's just so nice. But like, no, it's not. No, <laughs> no, no, story no, is no. not. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, is this wonderful romance? No, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I'll just be curious about what the what suspenses they're gonna be because I don't think, you know, mind you, I haven't read the complete compendium of the Grimm Brothers sure. Grimm, but. I don't remember much in suspense wise, so I'd be curious to see. Well, I think you could probably add suspense to a lot of the stories of what's going to happen. Of you know, um, you know make these... every Brothers Grimm story somehow interconnected. That there's an overarching like un, <laughs> you know theme going on in there. Be like, ooh, there's an undead sorcerer behind it. All. It's exactly. clamp. That it's is clamp. bound to happen. Let's be honest. It's entirely possible. <laughs> <laughs> quite quite likely. Um, but yeah. Uh, Exciting and fun, and one of the nice things about a um, a collaboration with a stu with a creative studio like that is, you know, Netflix isn't like tying up their time for half a year. 
you know, they're doing right. character designs, they're doing concept art and so forth, and they move on to the next thing. Um, good question, Inman. Will Clamp ever finish the X manga? Um, that's a good question. That does feel like an abandoned project of theirs. Mm. Um, uh, anyone uh, curious? There's an anime series called X 1999. Um, okay. Also, I think X the movie, which was a very apocalyptic thing, made in the 90s, building up to 1999, um, that Clamp did, and was one of their first, like, really dark, creepy stories. Um, the... Is it a spoiler to say this? Probably, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, one of the versions of X ends with one of the characters cradling his brother's head. Just oh, the school head. days. Oh, not, yeah. I'm sorry, not school days, I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of like that. Um, <laughs> very dark, gothic, you know, characters with right. powers, throwing lightning around and destruction and so forth and so on. So. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's, I think it's one of those things where they, they've moved on, sadly. Interesting. Yeah. Um, the world has not moved on from Robotech. Uh, and, and it never will. Never will. <laughs> uh, you, remember, you may remember big news from a few months back when an agreement was finally reached regarding the ownership and distribution rights to the Macross and Robotech franchises. Yeah. Well... This week, Funimation announced details about the release of media in the Robotech franchise, which the service first announced their acquisition of way back in 2019. But now that all this has worked out, they can finally move forward. An exclusive collector's edition of the series is coming to the U.S. and Canada. The set includes all 85 episodes of Robotech the series, remastered in HD, while retaining the original aspect ratio and film grain. Wow. <laughs> So it's remastered to look like crap? <laughs> yeah, so it's basically all the film grain is there, but all, you get all the detail of all the film grain. You get to see every individual speck of the original film grain. <laughs> okay. The set also comes with a dual pack of figures, including of a variant of Roy Foker's transforming Valkyrie, along with Roy himself in pilot uniform, and oh. four three-inch military-style patches. Hmm. The so how much? Yeah, I know. Um, I have, I have the 20th anniversary version of that pack. Yeah. So. This is at least the third, like, full release of Robotech on, like, on, on disc. Oh, um, yeah. But, more importantly, the full HD remaster will also begin streaming on Funimation this fall in English dubbed format. Um, there is basically no English, there's no subbed version. Wow. Um, Plus, the Robotech 2 Sentinels and Robotech the Shadow films will also be added in their original standard definition. Oh. Um, what's also cool is that the Robotech Mac Macross Saga game for the Game Boy Advance, G game Boy Advance has also been remastered in HD and brought to Nintendo Switch. If you ever want to play that, it's now um, a thing. And a number of merchandise collaborations are in the works, including apparel, collectibles, publishing. So fans of Robotech have a lot to look forward to in the no future. Joke. Oh, boy. Yeah, how much it is, is that happening. remaster I'm thing so going to cost? Yeah, yeah. We're already in mm -hmm. Oh, loan officer. What are you spending <laughs> it on? Robotech Cross. What the hell is that? Don't worry, just give me the money. Mm -hmm. It's an yep. investment in the future. Right, exactly. <laughs> investment um, property. Uh, yeah, September, right. September 28th will be the release of that boxed set. I am scrolling down. Yeah, there is nothing here listing its Price no pre-order. Oh, geez, pre-order. Um, Come on. <laughs> could be. Could could possibly. Um, probably. Probably soon. Mm. But we'll see. It's um, probably gonna be like four hundred dollars. Yeah, just gonna rake us across the coals. <laughs> like, we're gonna make all of our money up front. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank hey, uh, thank you, sir. Can I have another? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Why are you hitting yourself? Because <laughs> I like it. Uh, there we go, Kathleen. It's Rise. You should release it on VHS again. If you're going to, like, yeah, right. do the grades, yeah. do a VHS release. <laughs> We're good. VHS and Betamax, just to cover all your bases. I have a smaller apartment now. I can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it would be, like, 300 videos. Where do I sets. sleep? Yeah. <laughs> on your pile of Robotech. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Um, also this week... Yeah, exactly. Um, Kanakawa announced this week that 
Um, Uncle from Another World, the manga, is inspiring a television anime. Um, this, the, the protagonist takes in his uncle, who is newly reawakened from a 17-year coma, to find out his uncle had been isekai into another world as a hero during that time period and brought his magical powers back with him when he returned to the real world. Wasn't this Jumanji? Yeah, <laughs> yeah kind of, yeah. Um, I like this idea. We'll, we'll see where they go with it. Uh, yeah. Kind of fun and interesting. Um, BL manga Sasaki and Miyano is also getting a TV anime adaptation sometime in 2022, done by Studio Dean, uh, following a Fudanchi and his slightly delinquent senior. <gasps> oh my. Um, uh, the Wotakoi Love is Hard for Otaku manga will end in its next chapter on July 16th. The final compiled manga volume will ship on October 14th and include a new original anime episode based on the company outing story from the manga's sixth volume. So oh. if you're interested in Wotakoi, um, that will be coming out soon. Um, now, it is difficult to go more than a week or two these days without talking about the Demon Slayer Mugen Train film. This week is no exception. After breaking pretty much every possible record in theaters, the movie came to home video this week and sold more in its first day than the next highest video release this year sold in a week. Between the limited edition and regular edition DVD and Blu-rays, there were a total of nearly 805,000 discs sold on day one. And by the third day of its release, the number was up to 1 million 75,000. Oh. <clears throat> and odds are probably most of that are the people like me, which didn't see the yeah. theater. Like, oh, and everyone else is seeing it. Yeah, it. Uh, exactly. Uh, for fans in the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand who didn't order their own home copy, it was also announced this week the film is coming to Funimation streaming starting on June 22nd, both uh, subbed and dubbed. So you can get in on the Mugen train um, starting in just a couple of days. And of course, following Steve's Steve's suggestion, you know, a million seventy five thousand are sold. eBay posts its remarkable one day <laughs> incredible sale of Mugen Train Egypt. at oh, nine hundred ninety nine thousand. <laughs> hey, everybody watched it and sold it. Like, ah. uh, excuse me. Um, a website opened this week announcing an upcoming smartphone game inspired by the Rent a Girlfriend manga. Uh, titled Rent a Girlfriend Heroine All Stars, featuring crossover girl characters from other weekly Shonen magazine series. Um. So you can also rent girls from Fairy Tale, Seven Deadly Sins, and Fire Force. The tagline on the website reads, quote, Hey, which girls would you rent? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Why uh, would you have this game? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Um, because it's, I've got it's, nothing it's else a, in my life. It's a fine game, except for like when you try to explain it to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's great fun. Hey, Steve, what are you looking at? What? Huh? <laughs> it's too hard to explain. It, just it's a fairy tale game. It's a fairy tale game. <laughs> it's a, it's a yeah. Game. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, just renting women to go. <laughs> it's against Let me back this up a tad. <laughs> that sounds really, really bad. Let me just yeah. try this again. Yeah, this is all above board. I pay money for them to accompany yeah, yeah, yeah. them. <laughs> no, no, hold on. Uh, the Jujutsu Kaisen manga is also getting an upcoming smartphone game, um, role playing game called Phantom Parade, uh, which will, like any good mobile game, be free to play with optional purchases. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go figure. Um, a new gourmet manga was also announced this week featuring a surprisingly familiar character called Superman vs. Food. Superman Dining Alone. It will launch in a couple of days on the 22nd and will fo follow the daily pastime of the strongest man on earth who hears stomachs throughout Japan growling at lunchtime thanks to his superhuman hearing. Yep. <laughs> Wow. So I just felt he's pain here to on rescue that. them. <laughs> I just felt pain on that. <sighs> I'm like, what is he going to do? He's going to make the most and you get in rice the shortest and period you of time. you get rice and you get rice? I'll use my heat vision to make all the rice in the world right now. Right there we are. Oh, yes. Jesus. It's, it's an idea. It's a concept. Okay, yeah, that, so, that's, so... That's certainly oh, true. God. It is an idea. <laughs> It's an idea of feeding Japan, not like, you know, some 
poor country in Africa. Right, yeah. Everyone's poor and and needs it badly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, wait, they already did that one. Yeah, um, I just love the title, Superman vs. Food. food. Superman dining <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> you vile and vicious chili, you. Well, maybe maybe this is supposed to, you know, How dare you a, a give sympathy. Lois gas? Well, it's, maybe it's supposed to evoke some sympathy for Superman because he's dining alone. So, you know, it's, you know, uh, it's, it's a sad thing. Mm-hmm, so he's going right. to Japan to have people join him in dining. Yes, it's a oh. drama. Yeah, exactly. It's a very serious drama. Very okay. slice of life serious drama. <laughs> And watch it turns into injustice real quick. <laughs> um, a new digital digital manga service is coming to iOS, Android, and browsers worldwide, except in Japan, on June 28th. So basically for the rest of the world. Um, it's going to be called Azuki. It'll offer some pub manga chapters shortly after they launch in Japan, as well as a library of other titles. Uh, and will launch with titles from Kodansha's USA, Kodansha USA's catalog. Um, free users can read certain chapters with advertisements. Ad free subscription for five bucks. So, another option out there. Uh, hope to see that stick. We will see. But uh, yeah, that is all the news from this week. Thanks for watching. We will see you all next week. Sweet. Yeah. Um, all right, that goes off. That goes over there. No line. Look at that. No line. Yeah, the line is not back this week. Well, it's been a long day. You're dehydrated. Yes. So it's not yeah. <laughs> God, Brad, Brad's like, so shut that water today. down. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, I've been eating so poorly. This is probably like the most healthy thing I've eaten today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. The funny thing about that Robotex, um, you know, uh, old versus new image is they look the same. Like there's almost no difference right. between those two. Slightly brighter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they've raised the colors up a little bit mm -hmm. Robotech in in fairness is one of those things where it'll sell yeah like there's so many people out there they're just gonna it'll sell Robotech kick me another kick in the groin yeah go ahead I'll I'll be fine (laughs) well that's the thing like I said I bought the 20th anniversary box set and I'm probably gonna get this one too (laughs) right I mean they they have patches they had me at the yeah Patches mm-hmm. like the Evangelion th- three uh, three point oh plus one point zero one. <laughs> right? Yes, exactly. So this is gonna be Robotech to three point zero one. Mm-hmm. So oh, okay, it cool. is a gorgeous box. Um, mm-hmm. The the VF one S does look great. It's the same got a Valkyrie. It's it's a um, Veritech. Um, mm-hmm. And the patches are nice. There's a uh, Macross Consortium, a Skull Squadron, and a I want you for the UN Spacey. Uh, patch, I see. Um, I'm just wondering is is the is the Valkyrie convertible Valkyrie? Is it like a 160th scale, 172nd scale? <laughs> um, I am zooming in. Um, it does not. I, I cannot tell from the box. It's probably, but it's pretty tiny. big. That's pretty big. Really? Yeah, it's 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 a decent size. Oh boy, that needs that the box that's going to be don't. like 500 bucks. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and, um, oh. don't reward them. For this, <laughs> it's um, an <laughs> right? Which is true. It's I gotta true. have it. Has it drugs it has three point two additional sacks. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm supporting the industry. Well, yeah, 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 actually, yeah, would no, be. Actually, so, would. Yeah, absolutely. I'm supporting Harmony Gold at least. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And whatever you know, they they decided to pay out in their agreements. Though, yeah. let all this stuff happens. It's so. automation too. Though. 